Fog is one of the biggest headaches for pilots, not storms, not turbulence. But fog. It can reduce visibility to just a few meters, making it nearly impossible to land using visuals alone. So, how do pilots land safely when they can't even see the runway? That's where technology steps in, specifically the Instrument Landing System, or ILS. It's a ground-based radio system that guides aircraft during landing. It works using two signals, one that tells the plane if it's too high or too low, the glide slope, and another that keeps it aligned with the center of the runway, the localizer. There are different categories of ILS based on how poor the visibility can be. CAT I allows landings when visibility is around 550 meters, CAT 2 works down to 300 meters, and CAT 3 can guide planes even when visibility is near zero. But not all airports or planes are equipped for the most advanced systems, and not all pilots are certified to use them. So if ILS is so good, why are flights still delayed during fog? Because a safe landing depends on three things, the airport must have a high category ILS, the aircraft must be equipped to use it, and the pilots must be trained and certified for it. If any of those are missing, it's not safe to land. Some airports now use advanced systems like the BAS, ground-based augmentation system, and many modern jets can even auto-land. But even then, there are legal limits. If visibility drops below the minimum, it's still a no-go. So next time your flight is delayed because of fog, remember, it's not about inconvenience, it's about precision, deck, and above all, safety.